Um, right, buddy. What, what do you mean you're still going? My bowels. I've just cut it once. Jack, stop leaving your oh, bowels everywhere. Yeah. Did you just chuck something away you need? It's an exciting day. It is an exciting day, isn't it? It's an exciting We're working on your car. For what? Your car. Rusty, you need to take your teddy out of my car. What okay. do I keep telling I'll, you? I'll take it now, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, you're right, buddy. Anyway. <laughs> I see you, I did behind the back there quick. I'm still good. What? So you keep going, I'm still good. What, what do you mean you're still going? My bowels. I've just cut it once. Jack, stop leaving your oh, bowels everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so we are working on the Corsa. We're going to get some Corsa content, and we realised that we never actually did a video on these. Did we, Jack? No. We've never done a video. So now, Jack's car is about to get some low treatment. I don't think he's going to go very low because he likes his front bumper, although he does need a new one. Um, but we've got some Stance Plus coilovers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to fit one side of these maybe maybe the fronts they're pretty straightforward to be fair I think we should um, do a little bit of a how to because we haven't done one of these for a very very long time so do we need, do we need to know the box. reason why I've chose these ones well the reason is you've got three burst shockers yes so it's got three burst shockers <laughs> the only one that's working is the front driver's side so it needs first? replacing or not is that a bad thing to do I wish we, show, we could show them why they burst yeah but we can't so, technically we could. I've still got one working one. Uh, anyway, so what happened <laughs> is, Jack burst some shockers, we'll get to that in a second, uh, and to actually replace them, it's cheaper to buy some coilovers than actually replacing the shockers themselves from stock, which is shocking, I know. So this is uh. why he's bought, <laughs> did you get that? Uh, so this is why he's bought these coilovers. Now the reason why he did it is because he decided to go over a big jump and get some air time. <laughs> Bottom out on the floor in Mexico, obviously. It was legal. Yeah, in Mexico. Um, he was going very, very fast over a big hump. He came off the ground, landed on the floor, bottomed out. Did I make nearly it? lost his exhaust. But did I make it? You did make it! Put your three shockers down. <laughs> and a bottom arm. <laughs> and a bottom arm, yeah. Well, so the done. bottom arm's been done. Uh, we're going to jump on, show you these coilovers, get them on, show you how to adjust them, show you how to set them, show you how to lock them off as well. You get everything in this kit. Minus um, the top mounts. So to minus the top mounts, yeah. So you are probably best off buying some top mounts because these do tend to uh, fail as well. So you may as well buy some new ones. I think they was... About 50 quid for both. Yeah, it was something like that. It wasn't expensive. Um, so get the top mounts as well at the same time Ooh. saves you going all the way through it and thinking oh okay Broken it's broke and then you kind of stuck without a car if you've got the top mounts already you can use them and Replace it. So um, what we're gonna do now. What are you doing is I'm holding your head So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna <laughs> oh crap <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to fit these coilovers. We're gonna jack the car up on the front. Uh, you're doing the fronts first Always. Yes Yes. So we're going to jack the car up on the front, get it up in the air, whip the wheel off, and we'll show you exactly what needs to be done. We're busy people. <laughs> I'm disgusted with you. Why? Do you want me to explain? Oh, this smells so bad. <laughs> Alright, so we're here. We've got many, many lights. So you should be able to see quite well. So first step, oh, wait. Jack's going to point. This one is leaking. Okay, so four out of four. You mashed them all. I've done ten. I've done good. Well done. Well done. Um, it was so, high. So Jack's going to point first to what we're taking off. So you've got these flexes here. That's your, well, your ABS wire first. Yeah, so pull that out. All right. Pull it. Pull it real good. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, and then you've got the, the brake, well, the flexi. I'll take out that one as well, just so it gives me a bit more. Basically, you're disconnecting everything from that shocker because you're replacing it. So there's a little clip where Jack is right there. Um, oh, you can see the torch. I need to get some pliers. Yeah. So I'm going to just show you that quickly and zoom in while Jack gets some pliers. Yes. So there's the clip right there. Little metal, metal plastic, metal plastic, metal uh, clip. Once that's off, you can then just slide that out. Very, very easy. That is the the plan the squelch was not my fault so what's the next step after that tell the people Jack. What, after this clip after this clip let me just in case people off. want to um skip ahead 
Skip ahead. <laughs> they can wait. What? They can wait. <laughs> Take it off, put it somewhere safe because they always go missing. Yeah, and my somewhere safe is there on the jack. Axle stand is being used though, by the way. Just just pointing that out. It's, yeah, it's, it's there. Yeah, it's 50 first. <laughs> but Jack's done double safe. So that's out. Now what? Drop link. So disconnect the drop link, which is here. <coughs> Jack's got some new drop links in this kit, some lowered ones. Um, they are here for some lowered cars. <laughs> yeah, that's I just realised why is my pinky sticking out? Because <laughs> we're British. But oh yeah, because I always sip tea. Um, <laughs> so the, these, for example, if you was to replace your coilovers now, and you was to not replace the drop links what will happen is if you go too low you'll end up turning the wheel and you'll hear some big clunking noises that is usually your drop links or you've done something wrong that disc's hot yeah this alloy is very hot it's like you've been harsh braking for some reason jack oh, you don't know what. so <laughs> if you do come across that noise with the clunking it is your drop links so changing for some shorter ones uh, most companies do some shorter ones uh, aftermarket like stance plus you can buy the drop links in with the kit as well so if you have that sound you know you know what things don't always go to plan literally first bolt won't come off for the drop link so improvising um gonna put some more grips on the back use the gun see if we can force it off um we're gonna do some options to get that off and see what's going off, but it is a 17 mil socket anyway, if anybody wants to know. Update to save using uh, any angle grinder. <laughs> That's not being played ball. So Jack's disconnected it from the bottom with the 17 mil. Um, and because obviously the shocker's getting replaced anyway, it's just gonna come off with the shocker. So now he's gonna use what, 18? Spanner. Yes. On one side, and he's going to use an 18 on the other, and he's going to just crack them off. So there's two there. That's nice and tight. He says. Yeah. So there's two there at the bottom that you need to disconnect. Tell you what, I'll uncheat them. One here. Let's get some torch and some light. So one there, and then one just directly underneath it. You can see just above the caliper. They need disconnected. So with those two bolts disconnected. The hub then comes free, uh, push the shocker back or pull the hub forward, whichever works for you. You may have to uh, wriggle it out a little bit. And then the hub itself will just hang on itself. So that's the bottom part disconnected. What's the next step, Jack? Oh, whoa. What's the next step, Jack? Top mount. Top mount. So this is why we said to get some new top mounts just in case that you come into any problems. Now with the Corsa, so, it, whoa, with the camera, might make it easier if it actually focused. So some people take the full scuttle off uh, to do this. Some cars you have to, some cars you don't. The Corsa, Jack doesn't want to, so he's not gonna bother. So if you take the little rubber off of here, it runs all the way, you just lift it up. Uh, you've got a little flap to access the top mounts down here. So there's one there and one on the other side. Exact same procedure. What size is that? I don't know, I'm just finding out now. So here we go. Um, he's gonna put the socket on. And obviously once he's undoing that, you have to bear in mind that once it's undone at the top, that is then free falling. So you have to kind of hold that at the same time. Yeah, that's kind of broken. Yeah. Right, don't do this unless you're completely throwing away your shocker because you're ruining your shocker with yeah. the more grips on it. Yeah. So because it's actually broke, um, the more grips will hold it in place rather than it spinning and uh, not being able to undo the bolt at the top. So like he said, don't do that if you plan on keeping the shocker. Just this is gonna ruin it, so it's ruined anyway. All four's leaking, well done Jack. Um, I think I've done good. <laughs> so it's just gonna undo the top. Um, and as he's undoing the top, obviously the shocker will then come loose and you have to lift it downwards at now. By the way, 18 mil. 18 mil. My guy. Keep doing that. Look at the camera and keep doing that. Shocker is now removed. If you come this far, well done because you've just removed your shocker. So it's not, it's not that difficult. Um, sometimes it can be if the bolts are seized and everything else. 
Uh, the most important thing about this is making sure everything's all set. Uh, the coilovers are set to the height you need to be. Now, explaining this, some coilovers adjustments are very different, so you are going to have to read the instructions when they come with them. Um, we'll show you exactly what we mean by setting some of the um, parameters to make it lower and all that, but again, we'll explain this. So, Jack's got the coilovers here. Do you want to quickly give them a brief explanation as to what you've got in your hand and what adjusts it and what makes it shorter and all that fun stuff? The coilover is what is in my hand. Yes. It's like mm. a David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> use these rings to adjust it. Use that one to adjust and that one to lock it off. But if you go up, if you wind that up, it lowers the car. And if you wind it down, it raises the car. Now that's not always the case though, is it? No. Because some types of coilovers, if you actually raise it lower, it will lower the car. So again, this is why it's very important to check exactly what the spec says on the coilovers that you're buying. Now, the best way to do this, so all the coilovers are the same, when you put them on, is to adjust them before they go on the car. So make sure they're all the exact same. You do get the keys to lock them off as well, which will show you how to lock them off. Um, so you don't end up with any dropping. Now bear in mind, when you do fit coilovers or springs, you will end up with a slight drop after they've settled. So it won't be the final height you put it at, so if you put it really low, expect it to get lower. <laughs> because it is gonna get a little bit lower once it's settled. This is the same with lowering springs or any new springs as well. Um, it's just once they bed in, then that's the problem. So, Jack, is are you adjusting it right to the bottom? Or? Yeah, just so it's easier to get the top mount on. Yeah. So top mounts going on the new one. So this is why we said to get some new top mounts, just in case your old ones have got problems, which it's you never know. Sort of nine times out of ten, they're broken. Yeah, they're very common, especially on the insignias, aren't they? Yeah. Um, um, okay. So Jack's going to get the top mount on. It's literally a case of. He says. Well, this one's in pieces for some reason. They sent it in pieces, so he's just going to piece that back together. Usually they come all as one, um, like this one. Yeah, I've already put that one on. Yeah, of. so that's just going to slot over the top and then the nut's going to go on as well and hold that in place. So that sits under and then you have another nut that sits um, on top of what we disconnected here as well. So one nut underneath holding the top mount on, that then slots under and then you have a nut for the top of the top mount. Make sure they are getting tightened up correctly. If you haven't got the proper tools to do it, don't do it. Ask don't us do it. Ask us to do it. Facebook down below. Jack's currently adjusted the coilover. Now, what we're doing is we're going from the bottom thread here and measuring it up to the bottom of the top. Um, what are they called? Spigots? Are they spigots? What do we call them spigots? I don't think they're spigots. And, you know, we'll, we'll call them spigots even though they're not. Adjusters. So, adjusters. So these are the locking keys that come with it, right here. So these are what you use to tighten and untighten. They come with different sizes as well. So Jack's measuring 20 mil right here. Not sure how high this is going to put it, but you can adjust them after when it's on the car anyway. So we're going to lock them all to 20 mil. Um, and then this bottom piece here then has to be tightened up to the uh, the top piece once you've measured it all out. So yeah. look Jack's measuring. So this bottom bit has to be tightened up. Now once that bottom bit's tightened up, that will stop it from dropping or moving or anything else. So you want to get a key on each one and tighten them together in opposite directions. We're going to go ahead and do it to the second shocker. Now that means that they will both be equal, they'll both be set the same, so that way we're not going to get any little discrepancies when we put it on the car and the car's going to be sat like this. Now if we then decide it's not low enough, you can by all means go ahead, take the wheel off the car after. To be fair, sometimes you can get to it without even doing that, so you can take the wheel off the car after and adjust it with the keys again accordingly. Drop it another 10 mil if you want it to drop a little bit more. Bear in mind, if you drop it 20 mil on the coilover, that doesn't necessarily mean the car's gonna drop 20 mil. Um, this is random on all cars. It usually does tell you in the instructions. However, we didn't get any with these, so we ain't gonna know. So this is kind of a trial and error for us. So you'll be able to see um, how much lower it does on the car. It may even put it higher, we're not sure, but we'll find out um, once we put them on. So what we're going to do, reverse the process, which you guys don't need to see. Um, put the bolts in for the top mount, then put the bolts in for the bottom. Put all the flex and everything back in, make sure everything's all tightened up. Um, 
and that is it. Put the drop link on, yeah, of course. Um, but again, same process, just reversed. So go back, play it in reverse, and you'll know how to fit it. So now if you're this far, again, well done, because you've done the front. Um, so one thing we will say that we did forget off there is with the hub itself, you can adjust the camber on them. So if you want it to be um, slightly leaning a bit, make sure you push it to the back. I'm in the dark here. Uh, push it to the actual um, engine. But then if you want it rather straight, then pull it outwards if you can. Um, and then that will keep the wheel straight as well. You may obviously need to have um, the tracking redone if you do this it depends how bad it is um because you know you're setting the camera up a little bit different and you know we're going to get it bang on exactly where the other ones were so you may want to sort that out um straight after now we're going to jump onto the rear again you've got a shocker which is new uh they sat down there jack's already took them out you've then got the cups which are here uh, and then you have the spring which is there so the the backs are a lot more easier aren't they now they probably cure this to be honest Oh, we can't really show them. But the 20 mil that was actually adjusted by, it does roughly sit quite low. So it does sit roughly about here. Bear in mind the other side is jacked up, so it is slightly higher, and that will slightly increase. So a 20 mil drop from the bottom, like we showed you, will give you that sort of stance. Um, it is low. You won't get it tracked by a normal tracking machine if you do it like that. Good luck. Now yeah. we're going to jump onto the back. Show you this. You have to jack the both up. Uh, both backs up at the same time because the axle is um, solid so you have to do them exactly the same and at the same time rather than the front where you do one an individual now we're going to jump through this show you one side and then quickly just cinematic the next side so you can see it all in lovely action and i will say as well if you are enjoying this video smash that like button do us a favor smash it hit that subscribe button um, and you'll see some content the 350 stuff should hopefully be coming anytime soon. It's still bobbing up and down in the sea. So we should be able to fit the rare archers on that. Finally, I know it's been a very long time and you guys have been very patient. And I can't wait to get it done. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But a massive shout out to Greenlight as well for insurance. Go and check them out. Got a massive deal with them. Um, got it really cheap for the 350. So go and check them out. What Jack's done here is he's used the actual himself to put underneath the shocker itself to relieve the tension so it's jacked that up a few times just to take the pressure you've got bolts here bolts up there which you're going to take off and remove the shocker once the shocker has been removed uh, from both sides the springs pop out nicely for the new ones as we just mentioned that side's undone so it's now going to undo this side which will allow the springs to pop out um, and then we can start putting the cups in and the new coilovers jackie boy Yay. Jackie, but you don't look so happy. Jack, you're modding your car. I've, I've got worries. What? Um, scrapage and towage. Scrapage and towage, yeah. Yeah, but we can sort them. Yeah. We can just scrape, we'll take your bumper off. Yeah. It's all right, let's we'll do that. Bumper can be removed. So you see the rear axle gets dropped completely. Springs get removed. Simple way of doing it, but you have to do it at the same time. Up here, you can see where the new cup sits. You do have to use the old ones, but obviously you need to take the bottom bits off and inspect them because the spring sits in there anyway. So just make sure you do take them off and make sure they're not split so you can get some new ones if need be. These have been set to 20 mil. So these have been exactly set the same as the front. This may be different again, like I said, it is all, you know, out there. It's one of them where you ne you're never sure. Um, until you do it. So you can see why Jack's replacing his shocker, you can see all the wet dampness on there. So what you're going to do up here is you've got to take two bolts out, which you can see one here, one the other side. 
This allows you to pull the arch lining forward and then you can see Jack up there just getting the two bolts. Is it two bolts? It's two bolts, isn't it? Yeah. There's one bolt on either side. Uh, so you can undo them. They can be a little bit stiff uh, and then that's how you get your uh, shocker out. So that's one shocker out after a very frustrating couple of minutes. Hey Jack. Hey Jack, what you got to say? Don't buy a Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> So at the top, you've got this mount here, which needs to go onto the new shocker that obviously connects to the car itself. So once you've undone them two bolts, which sit just here and here. So once you've undone them, um, the other stuff can go back in, the new stuff, um, and all is good. So you can reuse your sleeve as well, even if it is a little bit um, grimy, that doesn't matter. Unfortunately, you don't get new sleeves with them anyway, so you just got to make do. So Jack's going to build that up now. Again, reverse the process, put it in, see where it sits. Obviously your spring sits in there as well. Um, there's only one way the spring can go around, so you can't make that wrong. Bottom half is bigger, top half is smaller. So make sure that sits in properly, eh Jack? Yes. Once you've done that, then success. They're done. However, a lot of people do leave them to settle and then they adjust them after a little bit. So give it a couple of days or a week or so. And if you want it lower or if you want it higher, if you want it higher, obviously do it now while it's on the car uh, because it's only going to get lower anyway. But if you do want it lower after that, then go and adjust them uh, after a week or so once they've settled in. And then you can get the true height. Your reflection in my wine glass. That's when I look away. Can't stand anything about losing your fine ass. How the fuck I let you slip away? Life for the party, but I'm dead inside. Kill my vibes, it was genocide. Hard to act like I've been alive. I'm trying to find where I identify. One time for the girl that got away. Two times for the bub I'm about to spray. Three times for the power that I pray to. Are you up there? Can you hear me? I know I fucked up. It's clear, see? I'm 22, but I don't act like it clearly. <laughs> and all this shit is a mirage. I'm just rapping for a cause, the life, the fame, the life's the game We break the laws, don't like to change Want to win you back, but I hate to lose I know that you're the one, but it's hard yeah, to choose So if you got this far, <laughs> well done, you've changed your coilovers Well, changed two coilovers So now, once all that's locked off um, Obviously, as you saw there, you had to make sure that you did both sides at the same time because when you're lifting that rear axle up to put the uh, struts in you have to be able to do them both otherwise the springs don't come out the springs don't go up if you've got somebody else there to help you it does help because you've got to guide the spring into the top of the cup itself now you also saw that the cup itself at the top goes through with the bolt uh, the washers that they sent wasn't actually big enough so we used some different ones for that bolt as well so see if you've got some uh, washers hanging about and Jack's just hoping you don't have to readjust it. So like I said, we did the 20 mil on the back, same method as the front, and we're about to see how low Jack's car is. How bad do you not want to adjust these? No. <laughs> so we're about to see, other side's down. Oh no. That's actually, uh, that's actually pretty cool. Actually, wait. One. Sit in it. Take the handbrake off. Ah, that dropped a little bit more. That, that I don't actually think you're going to have to adjust that because that looks pretty pretty equal, to be honest. So, so you've got a lower car. It's a little bit lower. <laughs> so I just took Jack's car on a quick drive, and my God, does it feel so much better. Um, so if you are thinking of doing coilovers, get them soon. Uh, don't mess about. Um, Stance Plus, good. KW's good. KW's are expensive, but you pay for what you get for. Uh, that's for track use and that sort of stuff. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you comment down below, and you'll see a video soon of how much money YouTube actually pays, because we get this question quite a lot.